Hey, boo, how are you? Hi, my beautiful queen. How are you, sweetheart? How are you, my love? I'm good, I'm good. Yo, so what's this shit? What's going on? Cause we leave we I matter of fact I know what's going on and I want everybody to know. So we're gonna add Xavier right now. Cause we gonna let this we gonna we're not gonna curse nothing so nobody get blocked. Yo gang, yo. We're not gonna curse or nothing so nobody get blocked. What's good everybody? I got some good tea for y'all. Y'all gonna like this tea. Ooh, I don't like this no stuff. I don't like we it. here I setting up the, the um numbers. pin her comment. What happened to Jose Ayala? Cause it's mad beef all over TikTok. Sin, I'm about to put you on. That's what we here for. I'm about to put you on, and I'm gonna have y'all hear it through me. What is Jaden sucking dick about now? Like oh, this nigga God. always sucking dick. Like <laughs> damn. But anyways, I'm about to let y'all know. I'm about to let y'all know now from what's going on. What's good, everybody? Um, join Xavier. I did. I just joined him. All right, man. We have the new place setting up for now until we finished over there. All right, so yeah. Oh my God, this is so cool. Wait, hold up. Fish, I look crazy. What's up? All right, so boom. Let's talk facts real quick because what the she <laughs> Was that Venom? <laughs> <laughs> it's that she played with it. All right, so let's talk facts real quick. Um, Jose Ayala, let's get it popping. He's the problem. He is the problem. Let's get, let's talk facts. Any of this, any of his fans, look, I've been quiet for mad long. Y'all know I've been stopped talking to Jose for four years. That's facts. I've been cut that nigga off because he's the problem. He is fake. He is weird. He is conniving. He's and he's just everybody. And for his supporters, if y'all don't know what y'all don't know, let me put on him. If y'all still spend whole day after this, y'all could all kiss my ass. Um, let's just put it like this. So you see that lady up there, and y'all know the facts because the lies, the, the truth never lies. So I put him on. To her and her boyfriend so they they yeah, they his charges. tattoo artist right so they his tattoo artist i put him on basically they did all his tattoos for free all them tattoos even the dick sucker ones he had yeah because that's what he is is a dick sucker they even covered that shit you heard that's yep, that they gave him all now nah, we're not pinning his instagram shit that nigga got his instagram deleted and that's good for him because god don't like ugly and when I got my Instagram deleted, it's because I was being ugly too. So trust me. I know that God does ugly. Let's keep going. We're not giving him no clout. Let y'all send it to him. Y'all know his page. Let's keep going. Right there, she they gave him all these tattoos for free. We talking about a thousand dollar tattoos, five hundred dollar tattoos, all for free. Jose falls out with everybody. Look, me and Xavier, me and Xavier have been friends for 10 plus years. We still friends. Me and the tattoo artist, they did all my tattoos. We still gang. We're not the problem. You understand? Let's keep going. From there, this year, 2021, this nigga exposes his mother. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Jose exposed his mother. He posted his mother business. So let's talk facts. He's he's now saying she's a homophobic. Um, the mother's a homo nigga. You crying wolf all day. Let's keep going. So now he exposes his mother. God don't like ugly. His Instagram gets deleted. One thing about Ash, I'ma talk facts. Let's keep going. He, um, his page got deleted because he exposed his mother and his mo and he got deleted. God don't like ugly. After that, his mother kicked him out the house. And my, my people, um, basically with the tattoos told him, yo, listen, if you need some, you my friend, if you need somewhere to stay. Now, let me tell y'all the truth. If they would have came to me before doing that, I would have told them no. I would have said, hell no. Uh, we were dumb Hell no. Don't help we that young man. That right now, what he's going through is his karma. 
No, don't help him. I would have told them not to help to help him. But they didn't come to me, and this let's keep going. After that, we they learned. came here. They offer son a crib, right? They offer son a crib. They let him move in. They let him move in. Let's me? keep who going. What happened? They let him move in. Earlier. I don't know Jose, who it is. Jose, no, wait. Jose? Hey, Xavier, who hold on. That? They got to hear this, because I need y'all to know what type of man y'all dealing with. Jose knows his squatter rights. Y'all want to know what squatter rights for y'all who don't know what squatter rights are? Squatter rights is when you can stay in somebody's house for three months and know they don't got to kick you out. So you know you got to be a bum to know that, right? You, you got to be a bum. <laughs> you know. Facts. Facts. Hey, you got to be a bum. Ain't nobody <laughs> ever heard of that before. But nigga got squatter rights. And the squatter right is when you stay in somebody. Don't let no. This is, this is a lesson to y'all. Don't let nobody stay in your crib for three months straight. Maybe a month. But three months, they're going to stay in your crib. And now they own your crib. Like mm -hmm. now they're valid to stay in your crib. You could call the cops. They're never going to get kicked out. So for all y'all bums that need that, nobody bashing nobody. Niggas is talking facts, ma. And y'all depressed fans of his is real depressed too, just like him. Let's talk facts. Because I y'all cool. fans that be hyping this nigga up is y'all fault. He think like this. Because y'all depressed just like him. So any of y'all that's thinking niggas is bashing him, y'all the problems right there with him. Let's keep going. Right there, boom. These people is mad good people. Damn, why she like, froze? My tattoo artist, they're great people. He sat here and called the social worker on them and said that they're um abusing their kids. That they're they're violating, that they don't change the kids' diapers. He put kids through the system and had strangers look at their kids' kuka. Yeah, that's what that's what the fuck Jose did to these people. For Jose to come on TikTok with his bum ass followers to sit here and say, "Oh, um, they're homophobic." Jose, nobody like you. It's not about you being gay. Your personality is why niggas don't like you. You're an ugly person. You're evil. You're, you bear false witness. Because that's another thing. He lies about people. Is this yes. folks facts? What I'm yes. talking right now is facts. I'm not talking about him. I never said nothing about his career, about his life, about none of that. Jose is a very bad conniving person. He falls out with everybody. Look, me and Xavier, we've been friends. Me and, me and Xavier, the only fallout we had was because of Jose. Yep. Let's just put it like that. Oh me and Xavier ain't never argue. We ain't never not. We not putting that nigga on this shit. That nigga suck my dick. This is not about him. And to put him on to cloud. We don't give a fuck what he got to say no more. We know the real. I came on this live. Look, I ain't even do this for Xavier before. Like, come on live and defend Xavier neither. Because I always knew, like, Xavier got this. Xavier got this. But these people right here, they're normal ass people. They're normal. They're not into clout. They're not into Instagram. They're not into none of that. They're normal human beings that move from Guyana over here. You understand? Jose lost everything because he's an ugly person. That nigga got no clout. That nigga got no money. That nigga got no fame. He went on live talking about, oh, people's homophobic. Ah, laughing this, laughing that. Jose, you're the problem. And it's sad because he, he's, he's always been a narcissist, even to his own friend Xavier. To Xavier, he's never apologized to Xavier about nothing he said or done. He sits here talking about, oh, drugs, this, drugs, that, from that time. This, the nigga had niggas doing shit. He's the reason niggas wanted to find out about the shit. So we're going to talk about that. But that's just another little story. That was, that was when niggas was having fun and shit out there. But besides all that, okay. no. I need everybody on this live, all the 273 viewers, to leave her alone. She is not the problem. Neither is her man. They literally do tattoos. All the tattoos, even that big-ass tattoo that nigga got right there was for free. Y'all hear me? Free. All for free. All for free. And that nigga over here talking about that he pays. Jose is broke. Jose always been broke. And this is me telling y'all this. Facts. I know Jose. Jose always been broke. This guy oh, has to have money to buy weed, Ash. I be have to go off. Alex don't even know. I have to give him money to buy weed just not to. I don't even want to say it on you life. You see? And what no, the fuck is that? Why they keep saying your name? They, yeah, like, and this is what people don't understand. Like, a lot of people, then they try. Look, Beba. That's another person they used to be cool with. Beba and Xavier still cool. 
If Beba was the problem, I'm pretty sure Xavier. Right now, I can see Beba today, and I know Beba cool. Because I met Beba. And we all still cool. This is why I'm trying to put everybody on right now. I'm about to get off this, too. I just really wanted to come and drop the mic. Because niggas know I talk facts. And I'm like that. Because I already told Zay I'm going to slap the shit out of him when I see him anyway for doing what he did to me four years ago. So this is the problem. Jose is all mouth. That nigga only talk shit all day. All day. All day. That nigga don't talk facts. He lies all day. He's talking all about being homophobic. I'm in my house for three months and I'm homophobic. For three months. Ash. No bills, nothing. Ash. Ash, since you knew me, have you ever seen me be homophobic? Never. You are Bro, you are, bro actually, I had said brother. I had said earlier, I had said earlier, it makes no sense that um Alex is homophobic. Nigga used to be in his fucking underwear getting tattoos in his shop. Literally. And, and he's he's homophobic. And, and not Alex showed nothing but love. Any tattoo he's gotten that even um, Jose copycat ass went and gave Alex a tattoo from another artist that didn't belong to him either. And the artist got mad at um Jose and told him to take it down. Remember that tattoo? I almost got sued for that shit. Exactly. Cause they, got, yeah, because Jose is a copycat. Not artist, original. Not you, the artist all the way in Europe. I begged him to change it. And I like this. See, I like this because this, this to me, like I said, this ain't talking shit. This is putting the fans on, putting y'all on to who y'all supporting. Y'all mans that y'all support talk mad shit about y'all too. He goes on you now. He used to go on you now to cry for money. Right. He goes on live, talk shit about all of y'all. Talking about all y'all, his little cash cows. Yeah. If we all yes. live, let's live yes. real quick. Let's live real quick. You feel yep. me? Y'all cash cows to this nigga. This nigga don't care about y'all. Y'all over here go funding a homeless nigga. He, this, we didn't even break shit for this nigga. This nigga made a GoFundMe out. account for the same fans yeah, to pay for his shit when he violated his mother. Yes. Right. Are you stupid? Then you got all these go go fans. <laughs> they gave this nigga 3K, 4K. Dead ass. Cause that's he swindles y'all. He lies. To yes, he, he made all that lie. fucking. He made all that money and is still in a fucking hotel, and which still is like broke. The nigga took y'all money and smoked that shit. You heard? Like no cap. Y'all gotta grow up. Y'all really gotta grow up. Jose, y'all is not a cute little unicorn no more. That nigga grown ass. <laughs> that nigga grown ass house. That's so sad. Twenty seven, twenty eight years older than me. Like and niggas is doing better than you. Nigga, MTV, ho like, no, no, you're not MTV. You ain't get no check for that. That was clout. That's what happens, yo. This is why you got to have money and fit and all that clout shit. That's why people meet, oh, Ash, fame. It's not about clout. That nigga only used to like clout. That nigga ain't like money. And now that everything is falling in his face, he's trying to do the same shit and use his clout to get what he wants again. Don't give this nigga what he want. Let this nigga know to suck my dick. And it's, it's just that easy. With her, like I said, this is this is the tattoo artist. She did yeah, all my tattoos. Private, so. and she did all my tattoos. She did my mm. fingers. They did my ribs. They did everything. And let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Nothing but love. Mm -hmm. That if I want to go mm -hmm. get tatted right now, nothing but love. Then P Jose Ayala, his little weird-ass boyfriend, too, is weird like him, too. That's why he sucked mad dick, too, on him. He lied to the boyfriend, too. Me and yeah. Xavier... Us being friends speak value. It's different if me and Xavier wasn't friends and, and Xavier was still being messy. No, Xavier is mad happy. Look at him. Mad happy now, glowing, growing, working. Yeah. We, like, yeah, yeah, we all working. This nigga's the only one home mad with the devil in his ear talking shit. Nigga, go find God and pray. Ugly. That's why mad shit is happening. And he, he's not looking at this as a lesson. All this is happening to him so he can learn to fucking suck dick and say sorry. No, instead you're going to go and find more people to hurt. No. So I just want all of y'all to know, Jose Ayala always been the problem. That nigga's weird. That nigga's a liar. And God don't like ugly. And girl, um, I know he's, he's trying to get your page reported. Don't worry. I know how to get pages back. I would have got his page back, but he's ugly. He going to struggle on his own. Let him find his own shit to find. And when he get his page back, I'm going to report it again. Fuck you talking about. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we already know how this goes. We don't care. That nigga, look, that was Jose Yayala. Why you still at a thousand two K followers? 
Why you still not up? He think people using him for clout. Why you still not at 10,000 followers? Because your clout don't work no more. Yes. And look, and, look, and look how many times your page got deleted. And within two months, you back on scratch. We right back That's to 20,000. That's true. We right back to 20K. That's why I don't be careful. But I literally... It's because he's just... Them. Algorithm for Instagram. Problematic. And yeah. all he does is like just like I don't know. He looks for sympathy online. Mm -hmm. yeah, He's no, been doing that shit do for that. fucking years. I literally like... I don't even do this. I literally only came on this to defend you guys because I know. Go me Shaq for that money back. Oh my god. Yo, yo, go fund me for ask for that money back. <laughs> <laughs> they should. They definitely should. But no, I'm about to get off this. I just really did this because I needed to speak up for them. They don't have a voice. They're mad quiet. Normal people. If y'all want a tattoo, go find them. Don't let him put y'all through nothing. You rebuke him in Jesus' name. You heard? Don't let him. Don't let him fear you. You keep rebuking him. You stay in prayer, and that's what happens when you help the he ungrateful. Crying in life. This guy always be crying in life, bro. Always, yeah. bro. Yeah. So besides all that, with the beautiful viewers we do have here, y'all stay blessed. And y'all be lit. Because you already know God love all of y'all. And that's one thing. When they can't defend themselves, call Ash. Because she got y'all. And I slap niggas too. You heard? Facts. I'm off this though. Y'all stay yeah. blessed. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, she went fucking off. Nah, nah it's, it's true though. It's true though. Yo, she went fucking off. Nah, nah it's true though. It's true though. And I had said it earlier. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. Are fucking blinded by all his shit and y'all don't see how problematic he fucking really is because it's like what drama have y'all seen me in other than the drama with him and the person that I was with for mad long i'll wait i'll wait again and it's like whenever he does come online he literally comes to like expose people and make people look very very bad and he's always playing the victim and it's like why is it that every fucking person that you've been friends with, bro, you have like this huge falling out, you have to expose them and this. And it's like, bro, why? You even did that shit to your mother. Like, you don't you don't ever think to yourself like, damn, like I must really be the fucking yes, problem. Yeah, sick. We did not break nothing. Like the video clearly said on my TikTok, my husband Cullen, protect yourself, cover yourself. We are gonna do construction to get the place safety for our kids to come back. We did not just break the wall without informing him. And then he had the audacity to turn and tell me, oh, that's why your kids are sick. Which sick guy would even come out and say that about a kid? Wait, what did he say? He said, that's why your kids are sick and I call social workers and you. CPS. Yeah. CPS. That's fine. God doesn't like ugly. He's talking like if he's talking like if we got the kids sick. We. That's why he's in the position he's in now. And now his dog is sick. Mira, we have it. We have it. Look, look. Wow. Where? I should have put that speaker in his room. Mm -hmm. I. Should. I should have done that. I should have. I'm getting blamed for it. I should have opened that door and put it because you know what? That is my Larry, house. Why do you want to go for it? That is everything in that house is mine. I yeah. should have. My kids didn't get taken away. He <laughs> got the social worker. And you can't go on it now. No. He, he got to be out of his mind if that shit happened to my kids. He has to be out of his mind. Back the house. The same pose. Mm -hmm. More pose. Mm -hmm. That's how we abusing my pet. Look, my pet is right here, bro. <clears throat> oh, my cat nose is bleeding. We're not feeding our cat. Bro, this nigga is bugging the hell out. Listen to request. Yo lo dudo que lo va a cosa. He even brought up Xavier yesterday. Yeah, I know. Trust yeah. me, I know. And it's more sick to know that people is with him and bashing me. Story. <clears throat> he needs to stop using baby wax and take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. When your own family can't stand you, bro, you know that nigga is the boss. <laughs> exactly. 
when your own family can't stand you, that's how you know you're the fucking problem. That's how you fucking know you're the fucking problem. I'm not doing cloud. I don't want cloud, but I, I wanted people to know who he is, who the person. I am nobody. I'm I'm I am nobody. To help somebody, and you trying to bring me down and try for my business to get come down after I try to help you. What oh my God! They just said what you said. Love you the comment. Oh my God. I had to take care of his puppy, beg him to take the poor puppy to the vet because the puppy is bleeding and it smells so stink in my apartment. That's why I told him, you have to take the puppy away or you have to call puppy care or animal care to take care of the puppy. Facts. Because it's like all the money that he, he would make, he would just smoke it all out. And he would borrow money from me and Alex to buy weed, bro. And we are so stupid to give it to him, too. Oh, Kim, can I borrow $50? Um, Alex, can I borrow this? I'm going to give it to you. Bitch, where's the money? I never got my shit back. I wish I had messages. Yeah, he said he can't afford it. What the fuck is he doing with all his money? He's smoking it away. He has no friends, so he doesn't go out clubbing anymore like how he used to. Exactly. But he's still doing he's coke. Never work in my... This nigga still Probably. Still in our shop. Work. Work in our shop. He made a kiss saying you're obsessed with him. I report it. Bitch, you wish. You wish I was obsessed with you. Isn't he a coke head? Me. <laughs> no, he did it never worked at my shop, bro. Never, never. We used to give him free tattoos. Is this no for me? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga been on drugs. Now you guys are coming in here and be like, you don't know he's on drugs. He is on drugs. He used all you guys' money that you sent to him to help him. Bro, you know how many people have fucking seen him do shit in clubs? Oh my god, I wish I had a fucking video of him. I like Cantaba. He fucking loved that shit. That nigga used to smoke weed in my own apartment. When you tell him about it, he ready to fight, bro. He, he don't want to get up to just go outside and smoke. The nigga would pee in bottles and leave it under his bed. That oh, late. my God. That, when Me. I'm in my apartment, I would take pictures tomorrow. And he was in his dog, GG. Bottles and leave it <laughs> No, I feel like his dog is stupid. He does know white boy wasted, Ashley said. <clears throat> Oh my god. Who's gonna be obsessed with a bum? Honestly. Niggas getting to the bag. You still sleeping in the street. Fucking sleepover tour. Yes, peed a bottle. I wish oh my god. I'm gonna take pictures tomorrow. And How surfing, literally. How surfing. He's <laughs> even like still in the picture. I'd give it to him because that was me when I was just like with him twenty four seven. He said that Bella and Xavier had problems, that they were friends to get back at him. No. We've been friends. I never lost contact with you. Literally. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? I, like, I have, I have a lot of friends, but there's a few friends that I have met through him that I've been friends longer with them than he has been with them. And still to this day, we're still very good friends. Nobody want to be friends with a person like that, bro. Nobody <laughs> hang around with that. Bro, and each Nobody person that I fucking befriended because of him, well, through him, has literally told me, bro, like, that boy is mad problematic. Like, he loves the drama, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he bro, y'all see. Y'all fucking see the difference. Attention. This guy loves attention. Mm-hmm. I caught on to his bullshit very quick. Yeah. I hope they're telling him so he will fucking see <clears throat> to see him talk shit. I want to record the whole live. I'm going to post it so they, they could they could scream record it and send it to him, man. They've been doing that all day, so sh they should do that now, too. <laughs> Thank you, Camille. Um, actually, they remain friends with Xavier, not even Jose. That's how you know Jose is showing every friendship. Yeah. Bro, I've been trying to fucking tell you this shit for years. Nobody wanted to believe me before because it's like, I don't know, I was like a little crazy back then and like a little toxic, a lot toxic. But now I'm good, like, I'm chilling. 
said that Xavier tried to get with his man at one point. You know what's so funny about that? You know what's so funny about that? I actually used to date his boyfriend back when I was like 16. I used to date him. I had the only crush on him. We dated for a few and it was never like anything serious. And then, um, yeah, we just, we lost contact. And he always used to tell me, oh, um, you, like, I don't know. I just always felt like he, like, I, I don't know. I just always felt like he felt like I was jealous of the guys that he used to get. And I'm like, no, bro. Every He's nigga, delusional. Every nigga you get with, like, I don't He's know. delusional. I'm not trying to sound like that bitch, but yeah. <clears throat> Compared to him? That's what I'm saying. How are you crying and the second, a blink of an eye, you're smiling? What shit is that, bro? Mm -hmm. You keep having this ongoing issues with everybody. You're clearly the problem. Yep. How you cry and smile in the same video? I don't see no tears. Is it remember when I said he's on you now crying again? Mind you, this was like something. Yup. He does, sweetie. He, we're not Thank there. We, we're not there anymore, love. Thank you, though. We're not there. We had to tell. We get someone else to stay until the other place is fixed. <clears throat> Somebody said, please be careful, cause he, he have the address. Who else talking? I I hear another voice. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Who cares he has that address? I will fuck him <laughs> up. I want to put hands and feet on him. I swear to God. On him and his boyfriend. I really don't care. I don't care. Yeah, he's part of it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no funny shit. Yo, he... And I told you this earlier. He literally confessed to me that he was going to... um He was going to pay, like, a group of niggas to, to jump me when I had longer hair. He would... Uh, that they were going to jump me and cut my hair. And then... He chilled with my abuser, which was my ex. Uh, maybe I think like, like two years ago, two or three years ago. Not it's just still lit, so I'm gonna join it again. This Yo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, I'm screaming. He said, Bebe, I this shit busted. So money from him when y'all lived together. Oh, he said oh. that you got him robbed in your house. Robbed? How I got him robbed? Do you know who I think that is? Who? Yeah. So um, the only reason I came back is because it's I either, keep it's either that person or, they or, or asking what happened people. with me All right, you're four years ago. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Y'all wanna know why me and Jose stopped being fucking friends? We stopped being friends because let me tell y'all something. Jose was Xavier's friend, right? So Jose was Xavier's friend. So anytime I chilled with Jose is whenever Xavier was around. You feel me? So we wasn't friends. Like, we ain't chill on our own time. He wasn't my gang. We was just internet friends. So basically, it was his birthday. And um, this was when him and Xavier was arguing. So this was when me and Xavier was still cool. But there was mad shit going on. So I had chilled back. But he basically got mad at me because he felt like on his birthday, I didn't call him physically to yeah. say happy birthday. Yeah, that's why he stopped talking to you. Thank you. Yeah. He tell us that. Thank you. They look, I ain't no fucking liar. I, I, Mind my, you, oh, I, I posted. I stopped talking to Ash. No, Ash. let's talk facts. Let's talk facts now. Just Ash. remember what keyword call him. So just because I ain't call him, he got mad. Mind you, I posted it. Like I posted the video, like a picture, the picture with Wait, me. Wait, so he, hold on, hold on. So he stopped talking to you because you didn't say happy birthday to him? Because I ain't call. <laughs> Because I ain't called to say it. I posted it on Instagram. Boo. So me, Boo. now let me tell y'all something about Ash. I'm kind of insensitive. Like, I'm not the sensitive friend. I'm the friend that you come around when you want to have a good time and shit. Like, when you want to escape. I don't want to talk about bullshit. I'm that friend. So when he hit me with that, I'm like, Jose, there's way more problems in this fucking world than your fucking birthday. Thank you. So you don't end up, you lit, oh, déjame callarme, déjame callarme. No, so that's shit. why me and Jose are not talking. And Ash, so like I said, the only reason, let me tell you, the only reason I'm involved in myself right now with this. is because professor. these tattoo artists right here, they're my friends. That's probably a 15 year old. Go to sleep. They're cool. Yes, everybody, look, they're tagging his Instagram. Go on it and report it. 
Because that's why y'all tagging it, right? Y'all not tagging it for nothing else. Because we don't care what he got to say. But if y'all going to tag it for something, make sure y'all go and report That person needs to go Because he's a that menace to society. I ain't gonna lie. Like, go to see you, bitch. Bad vibe. You <laughs> find me a book on the Remember that video he did with the stage? Knowing he's the bad vibe. He knows he's the bad vibe. We told that nigga. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I love it. So we'll be saving people's numbers, right? But I love you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm only on this shit because this shit is jumping. Make sure y'all follow me. No Stay here. Yo, you ain't got nothing to say. We like, I'm not lying because I'm putting hands up for you. <laughs> this bitch. Make sure y'all follow me. No funny shit. Xavier, I appreciate you for this. Get out of here, girl. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cloud, bitch. Sorry. Yo, now I appreciate y'all for this right now. Cause but no, I really did come in this with the intention to let it be known that um no, they're not the problem. You know we ain't fake. We not fake. We sure this nigga. Everybody else is fake then. His mother. We, I think mother yo, them right right we show him dog. We bring him and welcome in. Welcome here in our family. Trust him to be around us. So you could be seen now since you want to be Fuck seen. Fuck y'all. <laughs> she want to be seen so bad. Fuck y'all. Now she just wanted to be seen and then I like mushed her head. But I'm, I feel bad now. So let's just show Vanessa off a little bit. Everybody, this is Vanessa. Look, she do tattoos. This is Xavier. He is a cutie patootie. And so, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the spotlight, bitch. Don't ask for it. Fuck they, it. Said, they said he's watching. He, yeah. As he should be, Jose, what? suck my whole dick if you're watching this. That's fact. <laughs> That's fact. You a fucked up individual. And look, you got me out of retirement, Jose. That's crazy. This is supposed to be a legendary moment, and it is. You know this is a legendary moment to the 2012s and over there. They ain't never thought we would turn on each other, Jose, and you made niggas, niggas turn right now on you. Like, you're mad annoying. You still not, you ain't changed, bro. You still ain't changed, bro. Got people reporting my page mm, and comments. Yikes. He's Come definitely on. watching from a fake. Yeah, he's definitely watching from a fake page. As he should be. I hope he is so he can understand you a fucked up person. And I'm glad you can hear it from me again. That's crazy. Don't move like that, Jose. We was mad cool. We was all mad cool. No funny shit. This is like a FaceTime call right now to us. If you on this, we on FaceTime and the supporters is just seeing. They're the witnesses. They're the witnesses. It's three people. We don't talk shit. I don't talk shit, y'all. Dead ass, y'all. Y'all know I don't talk. And if I do talk shit, I say my shit. This is not. Bro, we be, we be minding our fucking business. I ain't gonna lie this, Bobby. We be minding our own fucking business, bro. Bro, we be minding our business. We don't do that. Niggas, dad be stirring the pot. And then when we look, now we doing too much. Because we're gangsters. We get on live. We do this shit. You have nothing else to say because you kind of, we already know what's going on. There's nothing for you to manipulate. Because if we let him he's he going to manipulate the situation. He's not going to talk and be real. And be like, guys. I'm sorry, I fucked up. I'm wrong. He's not gonna do that. If he would have did that, I if he would have did that, that's word of my like. That's we're not even gonna put nothing on nothing. If he would have did that, he would have all my respect again. It would be like, why? Oh, right. so no, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He's Real never bar. doing that. He would never have all your respect, girl. Shut up. He would have never do that. <laughs> if you're gonna get it, get it in the wallet, babe. Yeah. If you're gonna go down, you going down to get it. I put it is in the wallet. He's never doing that, and that's why I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear cap. My vibes and frequency only attract the truth and realness. Say it in Jamaican. He can't hold a job, though. Nigga had a job that was walking puppies. He doesn't what? want a fucking job. <laughs> he out Tim, my he does not want a fucking <laughs> job. If he wanted a job, hear. if he wanted a fucking job, he would go get a job. He now, doesn't want a job. You want to know? Deep. You don't want to know now, why he doesn't you. have a job? Because of yeah. Y'all put in money in his fucking pocket. Y'all made that nigga comfortable and y'all gave that nigga that type of mentality. Yeah. Oh, I don't need a fucking job. I got this internet money. Okay. Baby, and where's not, that money no, now? Honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. No, let's talk facts. He is very wise at making money He just money wants free online. money, yes. He is very wise at making money online. He got that fast, but 
Jose is in a very low frequency. He's very evil right now. Remember, he got nothing to lose. He lost his mom. He lost his family. He's just on some super back against the wall right now. Like, he's a bat right now. Like, he's on some attack mode. And all right, cool. And Bitch, no, I've had a job for the past three years. No, yeah. Try but, again. Be, but remember, he had sweat coin and all that shit. He was making his little dollars. That's facts. No, I was I was replying to a comment. Someone oh, yeah, said, fine. okay, okay. Someone All said, right, oh, you we, because I want everybody to know we talk facts here. We're not haters. We're right. nobody here is a hater. We're gonna talk facts. We're gonna if y'all got a question, we'll clear it up. Cause that's where the fans do need to know. Cause you know He's at cursed. the end of the day, he got his his lovers. But no, we don't give a fuck about none of that. Facts is facts. And the facts is the facts is I'm on this live again. <laughs> Cause it's jumping and yeah, and but the real, real, real second facts of yeah, the life is the, that um no, the these are not bad people. They can't speak up for themselves, <laughs> so they got Xavier and Ash to do it for them. And Jose, you did it first. Yeah, you could get me. Jose did it first. He went live and did everything first, and they would have went live with their little thirteen followers, <coughs> and y'all would have thought they was Xavier, fucked he's up. Talking about your mom. So. He is. No, he's not how. Niggas just how? joined the live and got it popping. Xavier, you so a lit cool. nigga. No, Wait, how is he talking about my mom? I'm confused. Oh, you see, don't but oh, Xavier, don't entertain it either, cause we know what the hell. Jose Bro, is. <laughs> I've only Mella, ever snapped. Is crazy, I've only man. ever snapped once, and I'm Jose, overdue remember, for fucking remember another Jose, snap. Okay, the boy I used to be with, girl, he turned on everybody here. I'm putting my friend on. She like, I'm just putting my people on that's watching and shit. Because they don't be knowing. But basically, yeah, which I don't know, all y'all people that don't know what's going on, y'all favorite um influencer, yeah, Jose Ayala, turned on everybody. And he's the problem. And if y'all gonna support him, make sure y'all make sure he tells y'all the truth. Look, my story ain't never full once. I said we stopped talking because about the birthday. They confirmed it. They know because they know, Jose, they were mad close. Xavier, Jose, Mad close. Me and Jose was never mad close. Me and Jose was just like high five buddies from across the room. Not the and just made the Instagram like, lit because we all had our own clout. That was when oh, we used to live like on the Yeah, and yeah. somebody just talking shit. Mm -hmm. I wish thing never happened this far, bro. I, I never wanted this. Yeah, I are not like this at all. But you go and tell your vibe again so they can understand. And then <laughs> I'ma just vibe because this live yeah. is lit. Ash, all I asked Jose for, I was like, Jose, we have to move. You know, the apartment have lead poison. Latina have lead poison from the apartment. Jose is upset because we don't want to sue our No, but personally, not even that part. I think you need to let them know how your whole relationship was. Y'all were cool. Y'all did favor. We were we mad did... cool. We were mad cool, bro. Jose And was... it's been like three years they've known Jose because of the tattoo. Yes. You feel me? Like... Mad. Cool. And they were just cool. They were see Jose is the type that gets very cool with his like with people. Like he gets very close and just <coughs> mad. She had lead in her apartment. And so, had to go. Basically, that's how they had that relationship. It's not like no. he just moved in. They didn't know him though. They knew each other. They did <coughs> all his tattoos for free. That's true. Who I want to say the Everything it was lit. That's, how, so that's how they know each other. Jose went through what he went through with his moms. And for all y'all real friends that know him, gotta know that's what happened. Like how he told people that he paid for the tats though. He never paid for the he tells people that? He told them on live that he paid for all his tattoos. You see, I don't know why he lies. That's weird. I ain't paid for none of my tats, yo. No. I ain't paid for my tax. <laughs> so he definitely ain't paid for his tax. Never did and never will. In fact, like he this these is my guys. Like they dead the guys. That's what I'm saying. You gain a relationship with people. They Jose gained that same the same relationship I got with them, that God forbid if I was to go homeless, I know I could move in, is the same relationship he had. But he abused the shit out of it. Same with Xavier. If I ever go homeless, Xavier gonna hold me down. But same just like Xavier did for him before, but he abuses it. Le van la mano, cogen los pies. You ever heard that phrase? When you eat the hand, you eat the foot with it? Like, that's what he does. He drags it, like. And then when it don't go his way, he gets into a big brat, he pouts, and then he causes hell. Yep. 
because he ain't hear what he like until yeah. then he focuses and thinks oh damn i'm he never even say sorry that's the crazy part i can't even say that At he's all. never apologized for one thing he's, he's never taken accountability and for i genuinely nothing. feel i feel he do feel like shit. that's why his life sucks because he got all that negativity under the rug instead of just speaking on it on some yo guys you know what that as i am a fucked up in the through this is what i feel i feel like i'm not loved i feel like y'all don't love me speak it real friends get through shit. that's facts we would have got through it but he just folds get worse talk shit, folds get worse talk shit, folds get worse it's a never-ending cycle and in my life i'm gonna end the cycle and i'm dubbing it same with what xavier did we dubbed him we literally only in this and we bring oh my in more God. drama we comments. just got clout it said, I'm crying at his we, Instagram name. He's only been on MTV once. Um, <laughs> um, Alex that's like the same thing. Because that's Trying to get some followers. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares. Now, nah, but I'm going to be honest, y'all. The real don't see that. Like, I'm going to be honest. I can't even read the comments. My shit is stuck. Yeah, mine is stuck too, but I'm, I'm oh, not great. reading it fast. So that means we're not meant to see it. Let yeah. them say whatever. With your twinkling, beautiful filter. I'm dead. <laughs> With your blue eyes. <laughs> I know. But yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest. After this, I'm really dropping the mic because I know it's going to be a never ending war if we don't. But we're gonna just Bro, step back. I've been I've been let this situation fucking go mad long ago. When have you ever seen me fucking talk shit this. about whatever? We don't do this ever. At all. The last time ever. I did this shit was like what, three years ago? When I was really into drama. I'm gonna be honest. This is good though. It's legendary. This is legendary for the to the um YouTube community. Not legendary, you stupid. It is no, now. No. There's gonna be a vlog. I'm telling you that just like all y'all lives. This is be, annoying. <laughs> yo, you think I'm playing? That's how it be, bro. <laughs> He's mad annoying. He drags shit, but it's okay though. Just let it go. After today, none of y'all speak of it. Yeah, that if you want to kick, fight, I'm pause. I'm you already know what happened and if you want to save the live and leave it share it for the rest of the three days four days until everything leave that shit that has you got anytime somebody want to ask you just share the live Boop. Bro, I and it's, busting. Any... it's not like we only here with 28 viewers <clears throat> yep. let him get on live with his mtv with nobody who he calling who he calling who he calling to back him up his old Chi Chi. You see, if he was a cool <laughs> nigga, Ash would have been the mediator right now. I would have been on both they sides. I would have been like, Jose, all right, well, you do be doing that dumb shit. And he would have been like, Ash, but you know, but now you just fucked up with everybody. So he can't call nobody on live and be like, yo, bro, go on live. That knows the real. That's all we got to say. So God is good, good all the time. Y'all stay blessed. Everybody follow me. See, gang, I love yeah, for know, all of y'all. You know what's so fucking crazy? When I used to be really into all this drama shit, like exposing <laughs> niggas laughing at the dumb joke. Nah, but um, when I was really into like the whole drama shit, like a few years back, he was um, the last time we we tried being friends. Everybody, y'all, bye. I love you, you know, guys. The last time we. <laughs> The last time we were uh we were cool. He um <laughs> what happened? Oh, they're still laughing at the joke. <laughs> but I'm dead. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Jesus is gonna do his own him. <laughs> Somebody said. Yo, I think that's the moment that Jesus is gonna pull back. <laughs> I'm screaming. Yo, I'm fucking crying. Nah, but <clears throat> it's so crazy how the tables really um the tables really turned because all the shit that I was doing and that he was clowning me for, he's literally in my same position how I was a few years ago. All the exposing and everything that he's been doing to all these people, <clears throat> now he's doing that to everybody. Mm -hmm. 
and now he's getting the karma. Yeah, the CPS did came to my house, bro. That's messed up. For my kid, have to. That's just messed up, bro. Nobody yeah, wants to go through that. Nobody. Nobody at all. I know people that he stood over at their house for mad long, not paying not a fucking single dollar. And he claimed that he paid rent, bro. When he sent the five hundred dollar to us, I sent it back right. It was like, take that same money, and get a place for yourself. Get on your feet. I don't want. We don't want the money. We are gonna help you until you get back on your feet. We had to break the walls. The walls had lead. We had to get the environment healthy for our kids to go back in the home. Look, we had to come and rent a whole new place for a month just to get the kids to come be comfortable until we finish fix that. And the who's gonna? And on top of that, who's gonna stay in an apartment that has lead in it? Basically, he's so dumb. No, but like, y'all yeah, gotta think. Who the fuck is gonna want to stay in a fucking apartment that has lead? Believe me, Jose. He wants to stay there, bro. This nigga wants to stay there. Because he have no bills, nothing. Everything is just handed to him. Sucks. When he met y'all, had to remove walls. And he had to... He... <sighs> He's he just, just mad because all I said, Jose, can I please have the key for the apartment? I give you two weeks the day. Like, I think like one day before, I t the two week up, I said, can I please have my keys? Goodbye. He had the audacity to slam the door on me and said, I'm not giving you the keys. I have my rights. How you have your own rights in my apartment? Right. An apartment for the lead. This nigga trying to get sick and die. Oh my, no, yo, I'm telling okay. you. Okay. I'm telling you, that could have been me. You know what's so fucking crazy? If we were still fucking friends, my stupid ass would have probably been like, yo, like you could stay at my house or whatever. And I would have I would have been in your position right now. And if, if he would have hit me with the, oh, I've been here for over 30 days. You know what the fuck I would have done? I would have took all his shit. I would have threw that shit out the fucking door. And I would have beat his fucking ass and told him to get the fuck out of my house. Nobody hit Water's me. Water's rice. My ass. Bitch, Nothing. you don't fucking, you don't get mail here. You're getting the fuck out. Oh, you have to little throw away the baby wipes. Exactly. <laughs> throw away his whole shower, bitch. I can't. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because my ex tried to fucking do that shit to me when I broke up with his ass. I was engaged to him for two months after being with him for like a year and a half, almost two years. And then the day I could not stand being with him anymore, that nigga hit me with the same shit. Oh, I've been here for over 30 days. Um, you have to take me to court again. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. You're not fucking, no. Get out. I took all his shit, threw that shit the fuck out the door. Get out. I should have done him that, bro. I should have do that to him. What? <laughs> Imagine he had that city, bro, to lock me out of my own goddamn apartment. And he and his boyfriend just there laughing at me. I'm like, okay, I deserve it. Because you know what? I allow him in my house to stay. It's all good though. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. So, no, he does not shower. He's allergic to water. He, guys. I'm about to ask the day shower your house. house. <laughs> <laughs> all he does is take my kid's wife to go in the bathroom and stuck my toilet up. Yikes. I claiming that the toilet doesn't work. Cause the toilet can't work because you flush mad wipes on the toilet, bro. Oh my god, the shower. Oh my god. Babe, I'll show your face, love. She's chilling. Leave her alone. Mm-hmm. I don't need to squeeze on my face because, you know, when I be some ass. Nah, you went back. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Carm would get his ass real bad. And I would feel sorry for him. And that, that hurt me that I'm still feeling sorry for this guy after all he put us through. But God knows everything, bro. God, God would take care of it. Not the shower. Oh my God. <laughs> he posts on TikTok. He, he posts post something post on TikTok. TikTok man. Let him go ahead. He won the cloud. He wants the attention. I can't. The Havel. Oh. Oh um. man. He's so this is black. Well, y'all don't even know the fucking half of it, bro. He's very, very fucking low. I'm very low for a big person.
person to bring a kid in it and tell you that's why your kids is sick. Mm -hmm. so I wish that his kids. I wish them good luck, and I God bless them. I wish I, could, I wish I could go live on TikTok, but I don't even meet the hundred followers to explain to TikTok because everybody's bashing me and reporting my shit in TikTok. I've never been live on TikTok. It shows how much nicer of a person you are when you go live with somebody completely. Mm hmm His boyfriend left him bad and left that boy left him alone. Because he felt bad more. Probably. Somebody said he's growing mold. <laughs> I can't. He posted a TikTok of Ash voice. He just posted a TikTok of Ash voice. Wait a minute. <laughs> Jose showers at Yala. <laughs> Somebody just wrote that. I'm a pee. I'm a pee. I'm a pee. I'm a pee. I'm a fucking pee. Not Jose showers at Yala. Mood. <laughs> Ken, can I ask you a question? Sure. When he was in your house, how many times did he take a shower? Oh, yeah. I was going to say that. This nigga lived three months. And I tell him, Alex, Jose doesn't take a shower, bro. Does he even take a shower? Jose never takes. I think he just used the baby wipes to just wipe ah! up. Bro. Baby girl like, had been saying he used to dead ass do that, bro. My kids wipe, bro, to wipe up himself. He used to get banned from buying wipes. I swear to God, I'm putting a picture of him on Target. From <laughs> <laughs> all the shit. <laughs> this nigga would come and say, "Kim, can I have wipes? I don't have wipes, bro. Get your <laughs> goddamn wipes." Oh my god. Oh my god. That's that as nasty. <laughs> and then he has audacity to sit there and shake that fucking ugly black hole on OnlyFans. That shit is not even pink. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my stomach hurts, please stop. What's this? That's dirty, bro. That nigga's dirty. I thought, I thought we were the only people this with him. I'm about to remake that picture. Oh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I can't. The baby yeah. wipe rolls back. Oh, oh I took all my kid baby wipes to use, bro. Every couple minutes, Kim, can I get wipes? I'm not here to support you with wipes. <laughs> he need that busty boy soap. That's the other bank soap. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> they need to make another goal fund, fund me for him to shower. That's why he got MRSA. No. Stop. Se pasaron. Se pasaron. Me nah, me. they did not say that. <laughs> yes, yeah, expensive. It is. And the guy is coming every day asking me for what? <laughs> Where to buy pipes? Wait, I'm going to please screenshot that thing. Let me see. Wait, I'm trying to find it because I want to laugh later. <laughs> I need something to laugh at when I'm sad. A grown ass guy, a 29 year old guy, can't afford to buy wipes and take a shower. Please, Come reach your best. please, please, I'm begging you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he. When I'm not home, he comes in my room and take the wipes. So when I come, the wipes is in the bathroom. Oh my God! Yes, the the is it's everywhere in the other apartment. Everywhere is breakdown. He could he takes videos to show people all the bad stuff. 
about we so we could look bad. So he didn't spend him. money on rent or soap. He didn't mm. spend money on rent, nor soap, nor food. Eating out all my kids' snacks, munchies. Not the wife's bro, please. Yes, it's the wife's for him. <laughs> it's the wife's for him, bro. You guys could send him some free wipes. He would love free that. wipes. Oh my god. Oh, I needed that laugh. That shit was funny. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Wives is expensive. I have two kids to supply, plus him. He was the next one, too. <clears throat> you, know, Xavier, you know what the messed up thing is? He come to me, like, about two, three weeks when he was buying. He's like, Kim, Amazon have wipes. You have to sell and buy wipes. I'm like, bro, what? I get my kids my own stuff. I don't have to sell with you to buy wipes. You buy your wipes yourself. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He went private. He's scary. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Hmm. You might as well just say hi to him because I know he's watching. <laughs> you want to say hi? Yo, you took the fucking air out of my lungs with that. For real. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. I did have no energy after that laugh. I needed that. Oh. Well, um, Kim, this was fun, but <clears throat> I'm gonna get off because I'm actually gonna get ready for bed. I have to wake up really, really early. Okay, boo, take care. I'm gonna hop in half too. I have some work to do. Yes. Take care. Bye. You too.